All right, in this video, let's quickly take a look at a few major changes or new features which we have got on the Android 13 QPR Beta 2 on Pixel devices. I did post a video on QPR Beta 1. If you missed that video, you can go ahead and check that out. I've shared all those new features we have got on the Beta 1. Now this QPR Beta 2 comes with the update size of about 136 MB. To begin with, the first major feature which is starting to show up in the experimental form is this predictive back gesture. What this feature does is, it is going to give you a glimpse of the previous page on a particular application where you are going to land if you were to go back using the back gesture, thereby letting you decide whether you want to go back to the previous page or not. For now, this is active only on the settings application. Let me show you how it works. I will open settings. Now, if I swipe from the edge of the screen, it is going to show me what exactly is behind this page. For now, it is showing the home screen since I did not open the next tab or the next menu. But on the next tab, it is not showing me the preview. So I believe that this will be further developed to show the previous page on any of the Android application. To put it in simple words, whenever you use a back gesture on an Android application, you will get a preview of the previous page on which you're going to land once you complete the back gesture. It's good to see Google getting started with this. Next one is a major change in the battery statistics department. Earlier on Android 12, the phone was showing the battery usage statistics for the last 24 hours. Now they have brought back this feature which shows the battery usage for the applications since the last full charge, which will enable us to know the exact battery consumption by a particular application since the last full charge. That is awesome. Apart from these, there are a couple of more tweaks. The charging animation seems to be slightly different. As when you plug in the charger, this flowing animation effect shows some granular effect which looks pretty cool. These are some of the changes we have got on this all new QPR Beta 2. And if you want to experience this QPR Beta, you can install it on your Pixel device. I have mentioned the steps in my previous video about QPR Beta, which is linked in the description. Go ahead and check that out. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you want to know your phone better, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.